Correct. You know, we've, re we've learned that you don't just come to the 11th grade love and STEM. You know, you have to pique that interest in, in their um, young age. So we, we want to try and get out there and show them what the possibilities are and that coming to Polk State and coming to Chain of Blakes is an area that you can really delve into it. I'm Dr. Suzanne Halverson. Um, I'm a professor at Polk State College, Chain of Lakes Collegiate High School on the Winter Haven campus. With the STEM program, I assisted with developing this curriculum for Scholar Robotics Academy where we were able to partner with Winter Haven Hospital Robotics Institute and provide hands-on learning along with um, college credits for dual enrolled high school students. We're a collegiate high school and we accept by lottery because the original premise behind our high school was to give um, access to students who might not ever have the opportunity to go to college. So we, you know, it was about three years ago we were saying, okay, what are the types of things that we can do to ensure that our students will be successful when they, are, when they, go, when they leave high school? And how can we partner with the other departments in the college? Because at our collegiate high school, since we're physically located on the campus, when they do their college classes, they're in the college classes with the regular adult population. Many of our students have um, blossomed in one way or the other. Uh, um, ways that they blossom can be shown through their research skills that they've developed throughout the program or just skills that they've developed personal relationships or social skills such as communicating effectively to a group of you know, physicians having to stand next to their presentation boards and be able to interpret their data that they have collected and explain that in real world scenarios. I think just giving them those skills where they would have to learn as a first year freshman or graduate student, giving them that at a young age now just makes them above and beyond the average college student. So students got to do a couple hours with the robotic arm, learn basic suturing skills in the uh, STEM research lab and then show, show what they've learned in the lab with the actual Da Vinci arm in the, in the operating room. So, so those are the experiences that the students talk about. They talk about using these, you know, again, a $2 million you know, robot and just being exposed to a great culture when we travel to France, being able to communicate with physicians who spoke a different language, but yet they knew that what they were talking about in anatomical terms because they had medical terminology and pathophysiology. We need to push the bar on the level of research that our students are doing. And that doesn't just mean using the scientific methods to investigate a project. It means can you write about it in an appropriate way? Can you speak about it in an appropriate way? I'm a lifelong learner. I try and instill that in my students. And so it's nice to be a mentor to, for them or a role model, especially for females, to, to make sure that they keep on track and focus. So, but what I see is, um, I see a level, I see students willing to put out a, a real level of, I mean, we're talking college or graduate level work, and um, that they didn't know they were capable of doing. And so I think that's the part that I, I've noticed, is that they do it, they do it well, and they appreciate the opportunity, and, and, and those, I think that's just a win-win for everybody.